Good morning, you lovely lot. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> I forgot three good mornings. Um, I slept like an absolute log last night, I think, with the adrenaline and everything going through my body after dealing with that car accident on the motorway or three car pile up on the motorway. Um, yeah, I just think I needed to sleep and I did. I was asleep at just gone 11, I think it was, which is early for me. Excuse me. Yep. Um, I feel a bit more with it. As you can tell, I am still a little bit, not quite, but I think that's because I've not got moving yet. Kenzie brought me up a cup of tea before we went to school this morning, which was really nice. And I had a couple of gluten-free OT biscuits. I've eaten so many wraps at this party that I really need to reduce the amount of gluten I eat over this week. Um, I seem to be all right if I just eat the odd bit, like the odd piece of toast or the odd cake. But when I have too much, I start to ache, so don't want to do that. I did eat a lot of wraps at the party. They were very tasty. <laughs> they were the Costco. You know, we go to Costco and you get the platters of food. Mm, they were very tasty. Um, thank you for all the kind words. Um, you're all very, very kind. I mean, you just stop, don't you? Well... I mean, I was surprised that so many people didn't stop, but maybe because it's the motorway, maybe people were scared about stopping. Um, it did cross my mind that something could plow into us because people are doing stupid speeds. But I was hoping that by the time, um, you know, I, I'd stopped, got my hazards on, people were slowing down. I was just really hoping that the congestion on the motorway that we were causing was going to protect us. And it seemed to do it, do the trick, so that was good. Um, I'm going to get dressed. I don't think I'm going to put any makeup on this morning. I just feel like I've got sleepy eyes. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, you're all going to be yawning now. Um, I'm going to go and have a cup of tea with Emma in the stables at quarter past ten. Maggie has a foot problem tell you what being a sheep mum is hard work Maggie has a foot problem she's not in any pain whatsoever she doesn't flinch when we pick it up but she's walking on her knuckle on her back of her her back one of her back feet and we can't work out what the problem is we've had the shepherd look at it he is a bit baffled by it um Rob's looked at it he's a bit baffled by it because she's not flinching she's not in pain we were advised to leave it until Monday this started on Friday we we're advised to leave it till Monday or was it Saturday it started I can't remember it's Friday or Saturday anyway we we're advised to leave it and we did leave it but if it was no better by today call the vet out so the vet's going to come and have a look I think it probably is going to need a scan or something um maybe a tendon's gone or something I just just don't know um I'm not sure even how she's injured it to be honest don't know did she slip I don't I do not know what's happened. Neither does Emma. But she's quite happy in herself. So we need to look at that. Um, we're meant to be having an event with them. We're meant to be making an appearance on Friday. Um, it might be a case of just taking autumn at this rate. Um, unless Maggie's strapped up, in which case we can drive them over and Maggie can make an appearance as well for an hour. But obviously only if that's okay from a welfare point of view from her. But like I said, she's she's kind of hopping around on it and then she just folds it up underneath her when she stood still. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to have a cup of tea, some therapy with my sheep. And uh, then I'm going to go and clean for four hours. And we all know that I find cleaning very stress releasing. And then I'm picking Kenzie up. I'm going to come home and chill for the rest of the evening. Well, that was four minutes to tell you that. Hello, hello. I've already done the good morning. Did I do the oh, good morning? Good morning? I did morning. the morning, but you can do it. There you go. Good morning from me. <laughs> Drowned rats. Yeah, it's very wet. It's very disgusting. Um, what's happening this morning, Emma? Well, we've I, got... I did mention we had poorly. Oh, OK. So I've managed to speak to the vet. Um, the shepherd popped in over the weekend for us to have a look um, because obviously both me and Pip weren't here on Saturday. 
Um, and he, bless him, is absolutely just, well, he's doing everything he can to help. And, Being very uh, tolerant, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, I think that's a very good way of putting it. Um, anyway, I hadn't realised he popped in, and then he rang me last night to say that he'd been in and had a look. Um, so there isn't anything obvious, and he's not overly sure himself, um, because it's not hot, it's not smelling, it's not swollen, she's not in pain with it. Um, so we've called the vet this morning just to come and have a quick look because may need like just a little scan um, and then they can decide best course well, we of action yeah um, she needs to walk properly well we need we need a fully functioning sheep quite frankly by Saturday mm. do you think do you think autumn would go on her own I don't know I, I think she would. They would cl clearly both be very miffed at being separated. Really but um, I am slightly conscious of autumn not being contained unnecessarily yes. as well. But you might have to just take um, her. We need to speak to the vet today just about how much movement is allowed and yeah. what. Because he may actually say she needs to be in the field. You know, she needs yeah. to walk it off. Don't know. Farming vet and normal vets are very different. We're seeing farming vet, aren't we? Yeah, we're seeing farming vet and. Um, yeah, we, we need we need to see a farm vet if we do, um, yeah. because they say it as it is, and yeah. actually we need to have that kind of yeah. we, do. we need that direction. Absolutely. We we need tea. Well, I need tea first. You're on the Red Bull. Yeah. Red Bull already. <laughs> oh my God. Maggie, the vet's coming to have a look at your foot, my lovely. Autumn, you might be going solo this weekend for your Christmas event. Yes, I've missed you girls so much, being away. So, we're having to make quite a tricky, uh, well, a tricky, well, I don't even know how to formulate the words really. She's had one of these. She's had some um, anti-inflammatories. Anti -inflammatory. anti um, basically, he's pretty much said the same as Shepard. He doesn't really know. Um, and he's given her some anti-inflammatories and we need to give her a few days to see if that makes any difference. It's a little bit hotter today, um, which is, you know, a sign of swelling and stuff. The problem is, is the, the position of it, being the top of the foot, is in an area where there's not really anything that they can do. So, she can't be casted, she can't be splinted really. Um, they can't really operate because it's unhygienic, she too gets sepsis. We've asked all of the right questions, so... You didn't give me any answers I liked. No, and uh, unfortunately... I'm lucky in the sense I've got a little, I've been in the farm life now for mm. 10 years, so I'm able to be a bit more... Pragmatic. I mean. Yeah, it's not an easy decision, no. but I have a bit more of an understanding of how things have got to be. She's basically um, got two weeks, haven't she? Two weeks to get better or not get better. And that's the situation we're in. So Maggie, sort it out, love. You've got two weeks. So her all, down we, over there. all we can do is make sure she's comfortable, she's happy, which she is. Um, not keep her stressed, obviously where she's had pneumonia as well, um, that's really important for us is just to keep her chilled out, so any unintentional, unintentional fiddling is what I was going to say, but that really doesn't sound right. Unnecessary handling and yeah. things, it's just not, it's not the best thing for her. Um, so we've made her bed super cosy, we've put loads and loads of straw in here so that she can be comfy and rest it and not slip on anything. And we've just got to wait two weeks. I've moved on to cleaning in this beautiful, very old house. And I'm on my third bathroom, not today. Third bathroom, I'm deep cleaning for them, room by room. So I'll be here for four hours. It's lovely, warm floor. They've got underfloor heating. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, I'm going to get scrubbing. Always helps me de-stress and I really feel like I need that today. <laughs> Don't need any more horrible things happening. I've managed to do half of this bathroom uh, so far. I need to pull that down. Um, Given everything a really good scrub. I have bleached everything. I have got as far as here. I just need to do the floor here. And you can see the skirting board here, I haven't done yet. Um, so I need to do all of that. I also need to get on this ladder and do along there and just along there that I couldn't reach 
Um, and then I'm moving into here. You can see there's a cobweb there. I need to deal with the cobwebs all the way along there and scrub this out. Um, this is obviously the bathroom that is used the most because it was the one that was more grubby. Um, but it's coming up really beautifully. It's such a beautiful house. Um, so I'm getting a real sense of satisfaction from it. I do look a right scruff bag today. Right, there we go. Let's put that there as well. But yes. Very pleased with it. I mean, I'm going to go and make myself another cup of tea. It's the small details, isn't it? I always end up looking like a drowned rat at the end of this. Hot, sweaty. That's because I turned the shower wrong in, wrong in the on in the wrong place. Um, come look at my back. That's because I turned the shower on and got it over my head. Just a big old mess. But the bathroom is sparkling. All skirting boards done, all the edging in the shower, leech loads of bits, all of the walls shiny. Everything's dusted and wiped, doors done. All the fronts of the cupboards, all the woodwork. Everything sparkly. And I need to go and get Kenzie bed. So I might look like a drowned rat, but actually the weather's helping me out here because it's actually raining. So I have an excuse for looking like a drowned rat. It's really dark. Um, I'm picking Kenzie up from school and then we're taking my dad's old guitar. We are taking it to the guitar shop and um, going to get it strung and tuned um, or at least talk to the guy about it so yeah that's what we're going to do um, and then go home and have some dinner I'm very hungry and I'm not sure what I want to eat but I'm sure I've got lots of things in the freezer that we can eat we'll probably do with a case for it couldn't we it's gonna get very soggy in this weather right should we go and see what we can do with it it does need a good clean, doesn't it? It's quite grubby and like sticky. And gunk. Okay. And on the... Well, maybe you can give it a bit of an MOT for us. Have a chat with him. I talked to my friend Shelby about it and she said they might try to, to scam us. Oh, okay. Hope not. Oops. Didn't go to plan, did it, in town? No. No. The shop's gone, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you're just giving it a clean up and we'll just get some strings ourselves and... Your friend's got a tuner thing, hasn't she? She said that you could have. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll give it a go, yeah? Get the strings on and see if we can do it ourselves. Hopefully. Hopefully. Done a good job, it's looking shiny. Well done. Especially on the inside, but it's tight and it's quite... Yeah, you got a screwdriver or something? Uh, yeah. I've made a very simple pasta. What did I go for? Tomato and mascarpone, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're going to sit and eat this together. It's about half past nine and I'm feeling very calm and very relaxed, but a bit drained. I've been doing a little bit of, I guess, astral healing for my sheep with, um, with a YouTube friend. Um, he doesn't do YouTube. He talks to me through YouTube. <laughs> Been chatting for a year and a half or so now. Um, very much into my way of thinking. Um, even more so, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, I just feel like I have just cleansed her a little bit. So, I'm going to go and have a yoghurt now because I feel like I need to have something to reboost my energy. Um, I'm going to blow out my candles. And 
hoping that she'll be a bit better tomorrow or at least improving right thank you very much for watching you lovely lot send all your well wishes and healing vibes to my little maggie moon please thank you